Another brutal day for journalism as Gannett started slashing jobs all across the country in a cost-cutting move, and the cuts have not been minor cuts. This was followed by major cuts at both BuzzFeed and Huffington Post. Joining me to talk about this is Molly Barrows. Molly, long history in journalism. When you see this happening, yes. you've seen it before, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. Give me your take. This is not a, mi- this is not a minor issue here. No, is I mean, a thousand jobs just last week alone. You're talking about journalists, other folks in the media, and these positions are not going to be filled again, especially in the world of digital journalism. And that giant sucking sound that you hear, that is Facebook and Google taking up all that online ad revenue because they do targeted advertising. So media outlets that are maybe even seeing an increase in audiences They're not able to attract the advertisers like Google and Facebook, which dominate the digital world. The web is their home. That's their turf. And these online media outlets just simply can't compete. Is it a credibility issue, too? I wonder you got to wonder is has the has the public been charmed in this idea that journalism has failed us, that that we, we don't we don't see real journalism anymore. What, what is your take on I that? I think you're right. To, uh, to a great extent, when you see these slashes, there have been some critics that say, well, this is the result of bad journalism, or this is the result of journalists who aren't doing their jobs, and people don't trust them anymore. And that's sort of the social approach to it, the service part of journalism, if you will. But it has nothing to do with that, and has everything to do with the business model. Now, does trust play a role? And if you're going to choose a social media story... Uh, perhaps like a Slate story or a Huffington Post story, you wouldn't necessarily go to their website to find that story. You might see it appear on Facebook or you might see it on Instagram or you might see it somewhere else. So they click on that. They're not going directly to the origination, you know, the outs where these originated from. Yeah, so part of it also is found in a generational shift. Yes. Uh, You know, I've seen this coming with HuffPost for quite some time. HuffPost used to be a lot more responsible. Now I call it kind of celeb nosh, you know, is... What you know? What's happening in the celebrity world? They have one. They have one voice where it comes to politics about Trump. You know, right, right. rather than and rather than talking about a Trump story, why aren't they talking about environment? Why aren't they talking about corporate mis- malfeasance? Why aren't they talking about issues that affect the American worker or the American uh, you know the American taxpayer in so many different ways? The same thing with CNN. You know, we're going to see this with CNN. I I, I really think CNN is going to be next on this chopping block. But you also have Facebook coming and saying, we want a Facebook that's news service, right. right? That's exactly right. So that's the other danger, I think, in this. If you have Google, um, you also have Yahoo News. They're actually laying off some people as well. You have Facebook. If they're going to be absorbing a lot of this content that's already out there, then trust becomes basically subjective. You know, people are like, well, it's going to be free for me to get it on Facebook, even if they're borrowing from outlets that I may or may not trust. It's free, as opposed to going and paying for a subscription service to a New York Times or a New Yorker or whoever that you might have to pay for your news. So you mentioned trust earlier. Trust goes out the window when people start charging for journalism. They don't care. It becomes a non-issue. But when it comes to um, basically Facebook owning this news, then that is the big issue when it comes to trust to me because we can't trust them. They've been proven to be liars over and over again, and they're going to gear content to what people want to see instead of challenging Uh, them. So we saw a story last week, Farron and I covered um, either last week, week before, where you have Zuckerberg coming in telling news organizations yeah. like small newspapers that we want to help you. We're here. We're no, here. Yeah, we're here, We're going to spend three hundred million dollars to help you be a better journalism uh, vehicle. Right. They're not interested in that. They're interested in two things. Oh, a the Facebook. They want to change their image by mm-hmm. buying off journalists. And B, they want to own that organization. we got about 30 seconds. What's your take? I think corporate-owned media in general is what's killing this country, whether it's TV, online, or newspaper. Newspaper's dead. Online is certainly struggling when it comes to online media outlets. TV, not seeing the same number of reporters laid off because their advertising revenue isn't being challenged like it is in the digital platform. But corporate-owned media in general, they all want to own your content because you are a barcode to all of them. Right, right. Molly, thanks for joining me, okay?